and welcome to another edition of Bread and Circuses. Tonight we present That Alternative 70s Show, where we spotlight the underground music of the 1970s. When most people think of 1970s music, they either think of disco or huge arena bands like Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin and Fleetwood Mac, but actually there was a strong underground rock movement with many bands that didn't quite get the acclaim that they should have, so we're going to take a look at a handful of them tonight. First we moved to Holland in 1971. Most music fans are familiar with the Dutch band Golden Earring for their monster hits Radar Love and The Twilight Zone. But Golden Earring actually dates back to 1965 when they became the first Dutch rock band to ever record an album. And they've had the same lineup since 1969, making it the longest run for a single band in rock music history. Here from their album Seven Tears is a classic underground track, She Flies on Strange Wings. Lonely is the night without you Just as lonely as the shepherd without sheep And where flies the falcon Sweet air without hunting this brain that is Wings. 
We moved from Holland to England in 1974 when the American band Sparks decided to record their third album in London. Centered around keyboardist composer Ron Mayles' witty lyrics and his brother Russell's falsetto vocals, Sparks has been on the cutting edge of music for over 30 years. They are still running strong today. Here is a track from their Kimono My House release. This is their first number one in England entitled, This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us.
We jump from 1974 England back to Holland in 1977 for the Dutch band Kayak. Founded in 1973, Kayak's music was a unique blend of progressive pop, combining elements of Genesis, Yes, Supertramp, and the Alan Parsons Project. Here's the title track from their 1977 release entitled Starlight Dancer, and we're dedicating this tonight to founding drummer Pim Koopman, who recently passed away. But don't worry, the band's still going strong and is putting out new music even today. So sit back and enjoy Kayak's Starlight Dancer.
We move from Holland back to England, this time in the year 1979, for the band Charlie. Founded by guitarist Terry Thomas in 1975, Charlie's almost more famous for their album covers than they are for their hit singles. They had a number of minor hits in the US and in England, including Johnny Hold Back and No Strangers in Paradise. But in 1979, they released the album Fight Dirty, and it featured the track Killer Cut, a hit single all about hit singles, and they even made a video for it. So here from Fight Dirty is Charlie with Killer Cut. So you want to be a rock and roll star? Well, it's time to have changed, that's all I'll say. You still need an electric guitar, but most of all, you need that radio, radio play.
We stay in England in 1979 for the band XTC. XTC was founded in 1977 and began putting out a series of critically acclaimed albums and singles but did not receive very massive sales. It wasn't until their third album, Drums and Wires, that they had a modest hit single. So here from Drums and Wires is XTC with Making Plans for Nigel. We hope you enjoyed tonight's program, That Alternative 70s Show. Tune in next time for more music, movies, and comedy on Bread and Circuses. Thanks for watching.